had a comment recently on the channel asking when the next uh, Cursed Sword Trials was going to start. And it's been quite a while since I've done that, but you know what? Let's give it a couple more tries. Maybe just on this stream, maybe I'm going to make it a regular thing again. I don't know. It's just this is always, of course, the one weapon that maybe more than anything else has really eluded me in terms of having a good run. Last time that I got to what the final boss with the with the cursed sword was, I want to say, uh, during what the the daily update, <laughs> the who's your daily or whatever it's called. And then, although. Yeah, sure, it was working great when I was just going up against Conjunctivius. I don't know how well it's going to work in a uh, modern 5-cell, of course, probably going to be going for the true final boss, sort of. Attempt at... Oh my god, I'm going to die. Uh, attempt when it comes to using this weapon. That said, I did have a pretty good run last time, so why not uh, throw that away by just having a whole series of bad runs? You know, it's like when you get a good uh, streak going in... Uh, you gambling, you get a hot streak going, and then you're just like, I'm going to throw all of my money in the gutter. This is a thing that happens, right? <laughs> all right. No double damage. I mean, double damage still does affect the output of damage for this thing, so it's, aside from getting, yeah, what, the uh, literally four times damage sort of deal, it's like, can't really do too much better. Actually... I'm going to keep the stun grenade. I, I think I'm going to make an executive decision right now. That's probably significantly better than the infantry grenade at this point in time. May take a lot of damage times two. Infinity times two is still infinity. We talked about this during the Bowen Infinite Arrows run, which I believe that I did not actually put up online because I did not know what I was talking about at that point in time regarding um, mathematics. That was so incredibly close. <laughs> I'm glad that the uh, the Inquisitor projectile petered out there. It, it, like, literally one microsecond before killing me. Good stuff. Well, hey, at least for right now, everything's getting one shot. <laughs> and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna run away. I'm just gonna keep running. I'm <laughs> gonna get in a good position here and then just take everything down instantaneously. No problem at all. Oh, God, this is gonna be terrible. Also, hey, Rosalind, first time chatter. Welcome to the stream. Just started. Don't worry. I'm sure you could come. You you could come into the stream at any point in time, and it's going to be the exact same thing. Me in the first area, uh, dying, <laughs> as one does. Oh my god. But hey, gotta gotta break up the many many runs that I've been doing of um, Rogue Legacy 2 as of late. Actually, just about starting that series up again. I'm almost at uh, New Game Plus 7, where you can actually get the real ending of it. So look forward to that coming soon. Also, a lot of fun cursed items in that game, which I have been taking a lot of... A, a lot more often than I probably should. Oh, boy. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Man, the, the Sonic diatribes. Let me tell you, it's just like, we, even in that last Betrayer episode, we still managed to talk a lot about Sonic anyway. Gonna be doing Sonic 06 uh, soon enough here, but it's just like, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I feel like I've set some sort of expectation, and I don't even know quite what that is. I don't even know what I would do. What am I going to get here? An upgrade for the for the Cursed Sword? It doesn't really matter. Also, yes, I know I, I know what you're thinking. Nice. Nice. Nice Cursed Number. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose that almost immediately because, you know. Well, what is the plan here? Just go through all of the easiest areas, right? I mean, that's that's the obvious one. Uh, ones that... Don't, I, I don't really need to worry too much about stats or anything. Health is not that big of a deal. And, you know, sure, I, I suppose maximize the amount of curse chests that I want to go for. But I could also just hit up a bunch of very linear areas. And, and like, you know. Yeah, he's going to do Seneca 6 soon. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I still got to go do the um, face plus would actually work i'm fairly certain hey hey who wants to who wants to make a twitch clip right now no it does not kill you okay <laughs> um what did 
I, I think stun grenade's still probably a better option. It's not like I'm really hurting for for damage here after all. Oh man, oh man, oh man. All right, so this is like there's not really too much strategy. Uh, velocity, Midas blood is. You know, if I had like the the kill, the quick kill sort of thing, that would work. Uh, instinct would be good. Uh, Yolo does not work with the curse sword. If you if you weren't aware that that does go right through curses. Vengeance is not really going to do too well. Combo would be okay. Open wounds. Melee, maybe. Uh, I, I guess let's go with velocity and just try to outspeed everything, right? That whole thing. Man. <laughs> no mercy. No mercy could actually be kind of good as well. But I'm not really... Um, I'm not really sure. That said, it's just like, as always, mutations don't really matter too much when you decide to go full on cursed mode. Oh boy, good stuff. I mean, really, I can just, it's probably best to just not even try and fight stuff or only fight things when I get in a very small area so I can kill them almost instantaneously. Although, you will probably be even better than Sana, than some of the than pretty much any other, any any other anything that I could be using. Also, oh, hey, wait a second. Hey, we got a curse chest. Fun. I'm gonna be skipping the one for the next area. And although, yes, I know. I know it's, uh, this, just taking this in second in second hand and using this as my main hand would be a good run. But that kind of goes against the spirit of it, right? So. That's not... Ugh, uh, how degenerate are we today? I mean, no more so than usual. I, would, you say that, would you say that curses are degenerate? I would not. No. We're just, I, I just... Somebody was asking about, like, hey, was I doing any more of those cursed... You remember how I started off, like, a little mini-series of cursed sword trials where basically what I was going to do was every week I would try and... Yeah, I would try and, um... You know what, here, this is a good idea for this. Try and uh, do a bunch of Cursed Sword runs until I eventually got a true winning run with it. And then I just didn't do it after the second week. <laughs> so, I just decided I I got... I, I finished up with most of the other showcase runs and everything right now. So, why not go for something? And, and you know, the last run I did, pretty good run. Like, actually, fairly decent run. So... Let's just, let's use any sort of like goodwill that I might have gotten from the last episode and ruin it all right now. Right now. This very second. Well, this very stream at least. I suppose not this very second. Ho! E! Ah! Now granted, I did, you know, have a very good run specifically because that weapon did break some enemy AI, but I mean... What are you gonna, what are you gonna do? If, if the game just hands that to you, it's like, what are you gonna say, no? Come on, you wouldn't say no. Okay, man. Not, I really don't need... I mean, especially working with, like, a two times damage multiplier sort of thing right now. I really don't need more stats. I can just go, and I think I'd be okay. Maybe I should at least try to take a look around here before completely getting out of this area. It's just, you know. Oh god, please. Don't stay in the wall. Ugh. Well, anyway, here here's the thing. It's just like at least I got yeah. She should never forget how, just how good this skill is in particular for this sort of stupid run. I've had plenty of cursed sword runs and um just simply by running into like spikes or something before. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't even have it. I don't even have it fully, fully unlocked just yet. This feels like such a bad idea. Maybe I should just leave. <laughs> leave. Definitely going to go up to the ramparts because ramparts have a very linear. Ah! Why? <laughs> hey, great. <laughs> Hit the button in my last action before going back to the start. <sighs> I thought I cleared out 
all the enemies. Well, anyway, see, I, I told you I should have just left. Should have just left. Oh, man. Not two times damage this time. I mean, I didn't really expect that, but... All right, what do you got? Toxic Cloud ain't too bad. Not a bad shield either, but we'll see how much that actually saves me in a run like this. Oh, uh, still though, yeah, if I do see skill shops, definitely go for it. Definitely going to be going for the... The, um... Uh, ta -ta -ta, there we go. All right. Actually, you know what? Also, probably not a bad idea. Uh, Predator would probably also not be a terrible idea either. How long does this last? Um, eight seconds. Wow. You know? There's something to do that. Now, needless to say, going and busting down the two golden doors for the extra stats and everything, and money, still a good idea. I don't even know why I can't... You know, I, I had, like, several things of food around before, and I didn't even think, maybe I should just get rid of them. Kind of, uh, kind of not really worthwhile. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, maximizing the amount of money you're getting is not going to be that important. I just, I just have a feeling right now. Somehow I'd imagine that maximizing that is just going to mean that I lose that much more later on. You know, force of habit, force of habit. I mean, you, you know how it is. That said, I've watched people play video games on the internet before. I know that you guys d do not take kindly to unoptimal play. <laughs> busting down doors. No, like, busting down doors like the kicking style. That, you know, doesn't quite kill enemies. Like, I was playing Katana Zero, but does at least, uh, stun them for an awful long time. Again, there's no, there's no reason not to just take as much curse as possible. And yes, you might be saying, yeah that, hey, why don't you just use the damned aspect? I did do the damned aspect. I did do this pre pretty much a basic run with the damned aspect, and it was actually pretty easy. So, <laughs> we can't just go and use that aspect because it's just, yeah, taking double damage, yes, is a lot. Not as much as getting killed instantaneously, let me tell you. Especially because, after all, the Cursed Sword does indeed have some very good damage behind it. Criticals every single hit, you know, just has the worst uh, downside, so. Otherwise, if you take away the one hit kill, even if it was just like bringing it down to one HP, it would still be a very good item. <laughs> hey, thank you, Benny Cunningham, for the for the sub. I love you. We get the sub to what wu what wu 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 <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm going to say... Yes, I did indeed say that correctly. All right. Getting the single sub for when you're feeling generous, but not that, that generous. I, I, I'm not going to... What, what, sort of, what sort of streamer would gauge how generous people are feeling? I love all of my children. And then you can't... And, and I will never say anything otherwise. Really. As, as, as I say every single time I get a sub, I love you. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit risky, but I don't even know why. Oh yeah, I wanted to get the 30 kills. I was just like, why do I want to fight these enemies? <laughs> right, right, 30 kills. It's like, you might might as well get all the doors possible. It should be easy enough, I suppose. All right, you know what I want. Some armor. Will you give that to me though? Ah, all right then. Plenty more opportunities provide that I don't just die in the second area, but... Wait, wait why did I, I... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> anyway. Do the kiss. There. <laughs> all right then. Ah, oh, grass mowing. I mean, thankfully, I don't live in a place where I have to mow grass, so... It's not a big deal for me. <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, no, that's that. I I hate yard work in general, just the worst. Anyway, yeah, I was thinking, thinking, no mercy. Why not? I don't know. He did the kiss smile. <laughs> the unoptimal play is fine as long as it results in humor for us and pain for the player. Oh yeah, tell that to the pot play. I really, I, I, I really. 
Should have done Predator. I guess. I don't know. Is Predator really that good, though? It's it's a pretty minimal amount of uh, pretty minimal amount of of invisibility time that you actually get doing that, you know. Okay, let's not run head first. Well, smoke cloud first into. Oh, that's me running away. Um, into a ball and chain is what I was going to say, but then you get the worst, the worst thing possible for. For doing cursed, uh, curse mode, the, the the swarm enemies, which do the swarming, they're very bad. <laughs> but with their ability to, you know, uh, run lightning into you, like trivia, like without even trying, <laughs> like they're just even trying to go get a swipe in on you, and they just run a whole bunch of biters that uh, are all covered, all kinds of lightning. I hate the uh, stupid. Dodge time. It's like me going up against myself with the dodge rolls. Okay. I only gotta say that, um, at least as of right now, smoke grenade and. Uh, smoke grenade and the, um, fun. Oh my god, please. Uh, the fun other thing that I've seen. You know, the one. Okay, get that execution down. You can tell that this is a little bit more stressful than normal <laughs> for me. 69, nice. Uh, straight up removes enemy aggro. It does not, though. Enemy aggro is maintained up until... Up until, you know, you are uninvisible. There we go. The throws of the grenade is actually going to be kind of useful for this, uh, for this weapon in particular. And as much as I would like to go for a lot more parries, it is not going to be very, uh, a good idea. Yep. Yep. Okay. 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 Ooh, yeah. Now, leave through the exit and hope for the best here. All right. Yeah, box elites are going to be just, just terrible. <laughs> now, I don't even know. I, I feel like... I should just leave. Make more suggestive noises? That's all I ever do. It's like I did... I, I don't know what you mean. Is my voice just by itself not enough? Hey, Yari works so much, I've never been happy to mow a lawn. As long as I made enough money to pay somebody else, I started doing that. And you know what? That, 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 sort, of, that sort of mindset is exactly what kept me... Um, uh, uh, employed back in my teenage years. So I do appreciate that as well. Uh, okay, okay. No 60 door, right. And then, fine, we'll take Predator. 1.4 seconds. Don't you mean grind set? Of course I mean grind set. <laughs> Is it... Ah, uh, no. Do it, streamer. Ah, oh, well, they did say to do it, so I guess I gotta do it. Anyway. <laughs> well, let's see how this goes. And just... <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go very well. Let's just, um... Well, let's see what happens. Dead but rich? Oh, we'll see how rich I get by the end of this. At least I know that there are some areas that I can just skip, and of course the curse chest is is free. <laughs> For hey, nice, nice, nice accoutrement as well. Oh, free, you know. In I don't in in a word. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, that actually like super did not do a lot of damage. Um, here, I'll get on the other side of this. They'll have to teleport to me. Sort of. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Small areas. Small areas, of course. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's me. Busting in here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I also smell a literally unwatchable YouTube video. Yeah, you is it, though? I don't know if it's quite if it's quite literally unwatchable. Wow, two times damage serenade. Oh, it was serenade. Fun. 
but not like I don't again sort of goes against the idea of the run right feel like it doesn't um like I, I shouldn't do that one in particular or something oh god I hate all of this at least the poison is doing decent when it comes to like AOE damage and everything but oh jeez ah da jeez okay anyway Oh, Thunder Shield is too good. I Using a shield is going to be a last resort sort of thing, considering that if I mess it up, I do die. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I was I was doing a roll at the same time that I was trying to climb up the the wall. What a great bunch of enemies in here that are just that just take so much damage. Oh. <sighs> All right, next one up. But rich? Was I really that rich, though? I could have been much richer. No, I, I should come back when I'm a little mm, richer. <laughs> Any fan of, uh, well, either CDI Zelda or YouTube poops? Actually, you know what? I'll take this instead. Sure. Oh, this is going to be an entire thing. Also, I definitely have some of that cauliflower that I was eating before stuck in my teeth, which is also just an added bit of challenge on top of everything else. Ah, oh, come on. YouTube poops fuel, fuel me. I can understand that. <laughs> Not as many around these days. I wonder why that is. <laughs> hey, come on. When is the YouTube poop renaissance? You already had like the... You, know, you remember how like the Flash stuff had the Friday Night Funkin' things, right? Gotta do, gotta, gotta have somebody really revive that whole scene again, right? Anyway, there was like some sort of remake or remaster, like fan remaster or something of uh, the CDI Zeldas. Ugh. Which, to be honest, they look terrible. They just look like terrible games, but still. I guess if, if y'all want to go make me play that at some point in time, I don't know why. It is technically possible. Nah. Alright, what is what is gonna happen in this run where I die stupidly? <laughs> Let's see. Anybody wanna place bets on it? Wasn't everything on the CDI terrible? Yeah, for the most part. You know it was a console that like Laser Lords was cool. Laser Lords was kind of a fun game. Um Oh uh, I literally can't think of anything else. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's like they had an entire thing where they couldn't play, like, music and sound effects at the same time. Like, they only had one track for for audio. You know, you combine that with just, God, like, every... There's so much to talk about with the CDI. It is an amazingly bad console. There we go. And although... And I think I might actually take the another, like, smoke grenade at this rate, too. Feels like a pretty... A, an idea. It feels like an idea that I've had. Okay. I had no idea the CDI even existed. I... You know, a uh, funny and just, like, entirely meaningless story. Actually, uh, at a garage sale near my, near my parents, years and years and years ago, had somebody selling a CDI for like 40 bucks and they had like three dozen games with it and I always got but you know of course at the time I was way too young to actually have money to even like spend 40 bucks on that and I always feel kind of like man what could have been all the only game I remember of that entire list was of like the entire list of ones that they had was um 13th, 13th guest which you know is a cool game but you can also just play that on PC that's one of those um, notable uh, FMV games. But still, it's like imagine actually add. Well, I do like the crowbar, but no. Imagine actually owning that sort of piece of video game history. Also, you know, they never called them games. They were always, uh, what was it, multimedia experiences because games are for kids. <laughs> Oh, what a weird time. 
The rumor is that they gave up on doing a, 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 a collaboration with Sony to go with uh, Philips instead. And then years later, they got sued by Philips for uh, the motion controls thing. Because they had some sort of weird patent troll. There's so much to talk about with the CDI. It's so weird. $299. Yeah, but come on. I could have gotten like three dozen games with it as well. And supported my neighbors who I don't talk to. But, and probably also don't even live there anymore. I, I don't really know what's going on over there. But, you know. You know, every con uh, console's official name is Nintendo. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, too, have... Um, I, too, grew up in the 90s. Uh, anyway. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, there's a 32X. 32X was also... There were so many, like... The... the Sega just entirely... Is, was so all over the place with everything they created, seemingly. <laughs> I mean, you know, Sonic CD came out in between Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, apparently. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> I don't... I, you you would have thought that it's like, oh, yeah, the CD would have came later. And it's like, nope. Anyway. And we're back to Sonic. Yeah, of course. All roads lead to Sonic. <laughs> well, I could just go start talking about Knuckles Chaotix, too. That's really the only game for the 32X I think that anybody even knows. But, you know. We're not talking about Sonic anymore, I guess. <laughs> Why can I... What's, what's so bad about talking about Sonic? It's a very venerable game franchise with that is very incredibly uneven at, at all points in history. Sonic sure did beget a lot of things, though. That is, in fact, true. Oh, I hope I get another cursed chest again in one of these areas and not an entrance into the hey and not an entrance into the uh, bank because I would probably do it again I mean let's be honest here there we go fast enough is gonna mean that I don't have to deal with actually fighting an elite the fact that Shadow is canonically an alien? No, Shadow is not canonically an alien. I mean, I guess in the sense that he was born on on the Ark, but he was just created with alien DNA. Really? Okay, well, <laughs> he was created with alien DNA and with the oversight of an alien. Also, thank you, Major Law and Lids, for the sub. I love you. Mwah. Like, look, it's some of the highest highs and the lowest lows. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there were some good highs. I don't know if I would say they're the highest highs. And this is somebody coming from somebody that really loves that franchise. <laughs> anyway, oh, what to do? Well, this is about as much of a nightmare as I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, that just means that there's that many more... Uh, attempts to to you know figure out something that's actually gonna work for this I don't think predator is gonna do it anyway my first ever game with shadow the hedgehog I turned out fine no you didn't you're watching my stream you know who I am <laughs> okay now come on really <sighs> oh I do think Shadow the Hedgehog actually did have some pretty good stuff. Like, look, it was, yes, the edge, the edginess. But also at the same time, like, I don't know. It was so, there's, there's a point. There's a point where an adult human man just straight up points a gun at Shadow the Hedgehog. And I just keep thinking, it's like, man, if you, if you like, told me back in the Genesis days, this is where Sonic was eventually going to go. I, I don't know what I think. <laughs> I want to say that I'm the sort of person that would probably hate it and be like, what, well, they got rid of the cool Art Deco design? Do they at least have good songs? And I'd be like, well, yes, but they are quite different. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Oh, no, not again. Why does it always got to be like this? 
Because I'm doing a cursed sword run, that's why. I mean, it's there's a very one-to-one -one sort of sort of causality happening here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> See, and you think I'm bad at video games, or I, I don't know if any of you think that. But whatever, I'm dispelling that notion right now. Oh God, that was that was a that was a trial. If only I can do that like 30 more times over the course of this run when it is required. Ah. <laughs> oh. What's the damned aspect? It makes it so that curses do not kill you, but um, just have you instead take double damage while you're under them. But I do believe that you deal double damage while you have it. It's just something like that. So it actually works out very well with a curse sword. Uh, when I was um, doing the showcases of the various uh, aspects, it was definitely one of the most powerful. Needless to say, the the combination of the relentless aspect with the with vampirism was the most powerful but that has since like stopped working with the with the the many many changes the vampirism seems to go under every uh couple weeks <laughs> pretty much constantly removes I mean, removes the risk the risk is still there it's just it mitigates the risk a lot like a lot like an absurd amount considering how Absolutely ridiculous, the whole, uh, the, the one, one hit and you're dead. One goat and you're dead. That is a re no, that's not even a reference anybody would understand at all. It's to a, it's to a, a, a translated Mario hack. <laughs> From Portuguese. Anyway. Hey, thank you, Dadvidian, for the raid. We're doing cursed sword runs for some reason. Well, no, not for some reason. Because somebody was asking about them on the YouTube channel, and since I read all of the comment, comments that, that come my way, <laughs> I, and apparently that, since I had no other plans for what I wanted to do with Dead Cells, this is what we're doing today. You know how that, this is, this is the sort of um, mindset that leads to me um, playing like 50 viewer suggested games over the last two years. <laughs> Curse lifted, boys. Oh, man, the curse is lifted. That's right. We got the uncursed sword now. That was something that I pitched, like, a really, really, really long time ago. I want to say, like, season one of the Dead Cells runs. The idea that if you, like, say, use a cursed sword for the entirety of a run, that you get, like, the uncursed sword. I thought that was a cool idea. But, of course, I can also see that at this point in time, that might just be a little bit too overpowered. This is a very different type of game than it was back when I was uh, talking about that earlier. Years ago. Never mind, back to 100. Hey, just think of it like 100 more to get down. Right? That, that just means that much more content. Hey, let's just say that I have a successful run going today if I'm able to remove the 100 curse. How about that? Oh, the uncursed sword do immunity from curses just like not have it kill you in one hit <laughs> i feel like it would be pretty self-explanatory oh uh, yeah you, you know there's um oh uh, what what is it what what uh undermine undermine there was that uh the one item the knight's shield the knight's crest i don't remember what it's called that you can get uncursed if you if you bring it through the the um one area. I can't remember the name of it. But I really thought that that was cool. That, that, that was sort of like what I was thinking of. Well, that's that's an example. Obviously, I came up with that idea well before Undermine even existed. But that sort of idea is, is what I was thinking. Something like that. Die in 1.5 hits. I mean, well, that's just normal 5 cell mode. <laughs> if you can pass the 100 curse, can we do a raid? Yes. Where do you want to raid? Who do you want to raid? <laughs> also, we're not, it's not like we're stopping anytime soon. I'm at least going to go for like an hour of Cursed Sword runs minimum. Come on, we got to give this a real try. First boss would also probably be a not entirely terrible stopping point either. Wow, raid? Is the world of Warcraft? Who's. Okay, fine. Who's the number one streamer right now? Or who's just somebody who's streaming World of Warcraft? 
that you want to raid. Come on. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, man. Uh, I don't even know if I want to, but this is a... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I like to run King's Fall. I, I, I never actually ran any of the raids. The only raids that I ran were in um, Mist of Pandaria, because that was like the only time that I was playing the game where I had like a raid-worthy year. And even then, I did like two. <laughs> Otherwise, it was just LFR all day, every day, baby. And of course, I haven't played that game for, for years now. Man, why can I not find an upgrade? I know, it doesn't matter. Oh, there we go, finally. Doesn't matter if I actually find an upgrade for this thing, but, you know, it'd still be cool to have more damage, I suppose. Okay, okay, okay. Um, The only person that I know that streams like WoW is like Asmund Gold, and even that I'm not entirely sure about. That guy's like just one of the, the, the super huge Twitch guys, though, right? Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you can see how much I know about streaming World of Warcraft on Twitch here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, great. Now this thing's down here, too. Come on. All right. Can I... Yeah, that'll work. Hey, that's like a one-hit kill, too. See, upgrading the sword was not even the worst idea that I've had so far through this stupid run. Okay, come on. Come on. Nothing. You're not giving it to me. Twitch streamers aren't really people, it's true. We're actually just AIs here to take your money. Created by Jeff Bezos. It's like, it's like, it's like a, a, you know. You, you heard of the term, like, uh... A think tank? Well, what if there were literal tanks full of, like, artificial brains? <laughs> and that was the dream of Jeff Bezos. Okay. Okay, who didn't even create Twitch. He just bought it, I suppose. But you know what I'm saying. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now, ladies. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Oh, you know, fun fact, um, when we were, who? okay, 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 again, I, I'll stop, the commentary will become something more than okay in about five seconds. Okay, <laughs> not, not yet, though. Oh, all right, that was, that was, um, you know, fun fact about the uh, last episode of Betrayer that I just put out here, um, we actually stopped that episode about halfway through on the first take because we just started talking about Psychonauts 2 the entire time <laughs> for like 10 straight minutes. Oh, no. Oh, speaking of uh, brains and jars. That game looks fun. It seems like a very worthy successor to the original one. I started Amazon next month on say, hey, 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 don't worry. Jeff Beasy Cheesy is no longer the CEO of uh, Amazon, right? He, he retired or something, right? <laughs> Come on. Oh boy. Curse shield requires a successful parry every 20 seconds or it will kill you. Parries deal damage over a large area. I mean, that's sort of like how the, uh, the, the, the that sort of sounds like a significantly worse version of punishment, more or less. Which, to be fair, this does have the same sort of move set as like the. This does have the same sort of move set as like the the blood sword, and the frantic sword, and the oiled sword. See, they made a lot of <laughs> back in the day when they were originally creating dead cells. There were a lot of um very similar type of weapons that existed. It has since uh, sort of differentiated itself a little bit more, but. I still remember. Oh, <sighs> Andy Jassy is the CEO right now. Yeah, see, don't even know who that is. Just goes to show you how much more memorable. Bring back Bezos. That's what I say. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is like a really bad. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So many OKs. <laughs> I'm just gonna call this like the OK stream. Oh, please. For, so for whoever wanted the uh, the sensual sounds, I hope you're enjoying 
uh, the the entire soundboard that I'm literally creating right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You even got you even got like the deep deep breaths there too, for all of your ASMR needs. Oh, I, I hate this. Okay. It's just a lot of okays. I don't know. I, I gotta stop using that as a filler word when I'm doing commentary here. Where it's just like, oh, I haven't said anything for two seconds. Time to just say, okay. <laughs> and you say, okay. The sister Christian all the time has... Okay. Uh, I'm almost to the point where I have cleared out the, the hundred. I think that's a that is an accomplishment just by itself, right? <sighs> yeah. Is this you during times of intimacy? Yes. The neighbors complain a lot. Can't even use the homunculus rune though with the when when I when I have a actual curse on me, not just the curse sword. But hey, I, I completely filled out the area, so and got everything seemingly. So, hey, you know how that is. Oh, I've been to space. I'm super rich. I mean, now tell me, is there any other indicator of being super rich that's, that's yeah, that's better than I've been to space? The only other people that have been to space are like astronauts. You know, that's their job to go to space. They pack their briefcases and then just head right up. You know, I'm just thinking about it right now. When is the last time you've seen anybody use a briefcase? Have those been entirely, like, phased out of the world these days? I think they have, right? Like, there's... There's no reason for anybody to ever carry a briefcase anymore. Is that sad? Or is that just... Or is that good? Because I don't know if I would ever want to. <laughs> they seem very cumbersome. In Better Call Saul? That's a televisual show starring Bob Odenkirk. Who, as you all know, is also the star of Mr. Show, the thing that I reference. Or at least uh, me and the second guy reference on every single episode of everything we've ever done. I also buy any food I want without looking at my bank account. God, if only. I mean, to be fair, I do as well, but I also like to buy McDonald's. <laughs> that is the most expensive sort of thing that I'm getting. I don't really uh, know if that... It's like, oh man, yeah, McDouble's on me, boys. Okay, okay. Oh. Although as of late, it's been a lot of Taco Bell again, since I'm working next to one. All about the bean burrito. It's like a dollar. It's good. It's vegetarian, like the seven layer burrito that they got rid of. You know what I'm saying. Oh, I, I, like, I, I, shouldn't be, I shouldn't be taking my time here become another casualty of society. What I should be doing is trying to go find, like, some way to lower my... Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay. Ah, I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh, oh. Less good. Uh, I'm, it's okay. <sighs> All right. There we go. As long as it's beans, beans are great. I don't know if you know this, but refried beans are well worth, are, 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 are an excellent, excellent meat replacement in every single way. I, I literally can't, aside from like eating a lot of hummus, which as you know, I do like to do that as well. Bean burritos are, are the best. I eat one every day. I mean, I've been, I, I have two, but that's just like, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> But they're only like they're like 300 calories, and they're like a buck and a half. What is this? Ah, uh, sickles. I don't, I don't think that's worth it. Okay, get you up here. Take this a little bit. Um, take this a little bit easy. Yep. Intercepted. Now I just gotta get out of here before anything else decides to attack me. Yeah, give me a second. I'm gonna get in there. I, I don't want to accidentally miss swing my sword at those things because I know that I super can. All right, almost gives me terrible gas, but it's also worth it. I mean, I don't fart, so don't don't worry about that. 
I might have a st an, an iron stomach. And you cannot prove otherwise. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Never seen a briefcase in action, but I've never worked with lawyers, I guess. Yeah, but I have worked with lawyers, and I don't even think that they use those anymore. I mean, at most I've seen, like, eh? Messenger baggy type of stuff, you know? I, I, I just think, like, it, having a big... Having a big, like, metal briefcase, unless you're Seto Kaiba, is, that's a reference. Unless you're Seto Kaiba, is not really just a, a thing you do anymore. And he just uses that to beat Yugi about the head. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's not going too bad, every, I'll, you know, for dying in one hit. Also, by the way, curse lifted, baby. One hundo curse. Actually, even more than that. Has been um, successfully chewed through like a bean burrito in this run. <laughs> okay. If your stomach is made of iron, how does it not get corroded by the acid? Oh, I don't have acid in my stomach. It's purely water. Um. Okay. God. It's working, though. Like, all things considered. Once again, all things considered, it's working. I can't believe it's working, but it do be working. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Bait him up here. Sell this, cause whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right. Man, it's still, it's still not, it ain't getting any easier. But it is, it is working. Ah, there we go. Got it. Kill that rat. Now, okay, you are going to. <sighs> Just got to anticipate where these enemies are going. Do I have Carnivore turned on? Yeah, I did for some reason that I've totally forgot why I did that. Why did I do that? <sighs> Don't die to a zombie of all things. That's the most basic enemy in the entire game. Replace your ripped underwear yet? Yeah, did, did you miss that? I talked about it before. That was the, the um, terrible episode that was like the most disliked thing that I've had on the channel in quite a while. <laughs> oh, I, what did I did I chose survival for some reason. I don't even know why. <laughs> I panicked, I guess. Oh! Just go, just go, just go, just go. Just go, just go. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Guardian scroll, not even worth it. I don't need health, I just need damage. I mean, I guess if I got a legendary item, that could go into damage, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Almost at 60 kills, though. How about that, boys? Um, alright. I hate the amount of enemies in here, but thankfully the invisibility is actually kind of working out. Okay for me. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Got any more flying enemies you want to throw at me here? Oh, I'm just good. <laughs> hey, what's going on in chat for just like one second here? I first started dating my girlfriend. We've been together for 22 years. Brought me a briefcase because for some reason I wanted one. And then I pr promptly forgot the combination. I think you can probably break right into that. It's I, I don't think anybody's going to mind having a broken um, briefcase uh, <laughs> lock on there. Hey, thank you so much for by the way, for the one gifted sub. I love you. Enjoy that sub, little cracker. <laughs> okay. It's kind of low. Again, it, it's just the okay stream. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry that I've turned this into the okay stream. Okay. <laughs> and I did it again. Uh, all right. Well, this is actually not that bad. Yeah, no. I, I got a pretty clear egress, the first boss. No stat, no important stats that I'm missing right now. Yeah, it's going all right. Just book it on out of here then, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Hey, made to the first boss at least. Oh boy. Rough. Replace the Pokeball. Yeah, I suppose I probably should at this point in time, but stats though. Yeah, I really should. I should replace it. <laughs> uh. 
Anything of interest? Uh, yeah. All right. More stats. Take it. Okay. Okay. Man, oh man. What is even? I. I. No mercy. <laughs> you can work, work on bosses, sort of. Sort of, kind of. Like, uh, let's see how this goes. Hmm, <laughs> cool outfit, though. I don't think I've seen this one. I'm wearing this, no promises. Bruh. <laughs> you know, press the wrong thing there. Okay. Get those stats back here. I forgot which one was which. Come on, can I do this, or is it gonna all go the shape of the pear? Well, I mean, we'll see. I'm just gonna keep it. Oh, well. <laughs> all right, uh, not the not the most elegant solution, but it did work. Okay. Ha! Ah, 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 nice, nice try. Why was, was I gonna say nice try? This is the most. This is the basic attack pattern. Oh no! I, I, I knew it. I knew I should have just waited for the sweep. Ugh, shape of the pear. They used it in Banjo Tooie at one point in time, and I just thought it was a very funny phrase for for things going badly. <laughs> <laughs> too early. It was going pretty well too. It's like I just got I just got um I just got kind of I just got kind of um too greedy, you know. Let's go one more run. See how this goes cuz it was not even that bad. I got I got through the 100 curse. I like, you know, got to the first boss even though I totally failed fighting him. It's like this this is doable. Right? Never heard the saying, neither did I, until I... Apparently it's an old Britishism. <laughs> which is why, which is why, you know, it appeared in a Rareware game. Like that. It was the, uh, the, the, the cavemen in, like, the, the prehistoric level would say that when you... When you peck their butts. Okay, can I not die? Yes, I can. Can I not die as a treat? Okay. Think it's a Britishism? It's gotta be, right? Because, I mean, it, as you know, uh, yeah. If there is one thing that Rareware. If there's one of the few things I know about Rareware is that they are based in England. <laughs> and, you know. Actually, and, and really, I do not know that much else about them. I know that they developed. Um. Something. Uh, the, the, the Sea of Thieves. But that's like the last thing I remember seeing Rareware do that I can remember. Ah, okay. You whatted their what? Uh, what now? I've, I've entirely forgotten what I've said. I'm too focused on trying not to die in this run. <laughs> what was the last thing I said? Something about Rareware. That's all I know. Donkey Kong? Yes. Donkey Kong. But, you know, also like Banjo Kazooie and and um, grabbed by the ghoulies, which is apparently also another Britishism for balls. Balls. But um, uh, Viva Pinata, Goldeneye, of course. Uh, Killer Instinct. Can't forget about Killer Instinct. Come on, that's your dad actually had like a really good revival for the 360. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> okay, I knew that one. It's a weird game, too. It's this like a... God. It, it's it's like a... Uh, automatic brawler type... It's, I didn't think it was very good. <laughs> but, you know, after they moved over to Microsoft, that was kind of the... the 
first thing that, that they ended up developing. Why am I giving a history on rareware <laughs> right now? And they also existed long before that, you know, stuff like Jetpack and, of course, uh, Saberman, but... Uh, it, it's... Okay, 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 what are, we, what are we even doing right now? I don't know, I'm trying to go through a bunch more unsuccessful runs. We already saw the good run for this episode. Hey, Killer Instinct's great! Also, great soundtrack. <laughs> but, um... They didn't actually develop the, uh, the newer one. Just the... OG on the, the 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 OG one. Okay, that's why uh, Microsoft, you know, got the rights to it when they bought Rareware at that point in time. Okay, okay. We're discussing the history of Rareware. Yeah, they've made a lot of good games. They've made a lot of good games. I would legit like to play at some point in time, like Viva Pinata on the channel. I think that would be fun. And that's not even a sort of game that I would normally like. It's just it's really dumb and you got John DiMaggio as as a, a, a professor pester the evil professor <laughs> come on is, is that not enough to to entice you into watching an entire series of me trying to get the, the, the cat pinata to eat a mouse pinata Diddy Kong Racing yeah Diddy Kong Racing is great too that was actually where uh, Banjo first appeared I think before anything else because uh, the game was not actually out at that time. Wasn't even partnered up with Kazooie at that point in time either. Was uh, just um, entirely solo. And of course, uh, the old Didi was there as well. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Again, great soundtrack. But of course, that was uh, Grant Kirkhope doing his Grant Kirkhope stuff. So, you know. You kind of expect it to be pretty good. Mario and Rabbids had a soundtrack also created by Kirk Hope, and I, and it, that was that is like a legitimately much better game than it had any right to be <laughs> to start with, and two was like a, even more so than that. I feel like the soundtrack really stood out to me. Anyway, uh, that has nothing to do with anything. So, <laughs> hey, at least I'm kind of like making some progress in this run for now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh, I hate this. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That's a game I would not like to play on the channel. Oh my god. What an incredible sort of experience that was. What? I don't, I, do, I, st I don't understand that game. <laughs> I don't think I ever will. What a very weird, weird game. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's it. That's the entire thing. Now what you're spending your points on? Is it making me play Danganronpa? I'm betting it's that. God, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen one of these days. But hey. At least it's good. At least... At least the other guy likes it. I don't know. <laughs> I, got, I just got the distinct feeling that I am not gonna enjoy that game. Playing anime games. Y'all want me to play a lot of anime games. That's, that is just how it is. Look, I don't want to play a lot of anime games. I kind of want to play... I, I want to play some anime games. But y'all want me to play a lot of anime games. Such is the way of the world. Ugh. No, that, that, that game was replaced by... By me playing 13 Sentinels, which I think we can all agree was definitely a very good tra trade-off. Like, come on. What what more could you possibly ask for than thirteen than the thirteen Sentinel series, which might be one of the least viewed on the entire channel? Although I, I want to say nothing's ever going to beat Persona Five. <laughs> Nothing will ever beat Persona Five. That is just that is like set in stone as the worst series on the channel. Even more so than like the really early weird stuff, like when I was playing Dead Dead Cells. No, when I was playing um, uh, Dark Souls in, in the debug menu. Hey, getting all the good pink outfits here. I do appreciate that. Keep those channel colors going. All right. I don't even know what that is. I assume it's pornographic. 
Why can't you just have me play like, I don't know, Taisho no Alice or something? Have just like a fun actual dating sim. Dating sim, dating sim. I actually watch P <laughs> I actually watch P5, which has which can't be set of 13 Sentinels specific rim. Yeah, why didn't you watch 13 Sentinels? I feel like that is a <laughs> of the same sort. Oh, this is not a good idea. Dead Cells, you. Well, to be fair, a lot of the early stuff on the channel was Dead Cells. I think I did the entirety of the first, first, um, first uh, season of challenge runs before I did anything else on the channel at all. Like, literally any other content, period. I mean, and, and let me tell you, those early episodes were rough. I'm keeping them up anyway, though, because I feel like it's a good it's a good showing of how far I've come from when I had a bad microphone and I sounded like a normal person. God, could you imagine that? Imagine, like, not sounding like you're constantly talking into a microphone at all points in time whenever you speak. I, I, I don't even know what that would be like anymore. I'm just doing this voice all day, every day. Oh, yeah, I can sell it, I suppose. Okay. okay. Yeah, once again, we're back to the okays. How's the run going, you might ask? And I'd say it's perfectly fine. Oh, that cuckold simulator game. Tell me, Chad, what is the cuckold simulator game? Do you, uh... Out of a morbid sense of curiosity, I feel like I have to know. Good old verbal ticks. I've gotten rid of plenty of them, but not all of them. I don't say now as much anymore. <laughs> or smack my lips. That's a that's a welcome change. I don't think anybody's going to argue with that one. <laughs> of course, I also edited that out of a lot of the old videos because I have too much time on my hands. <laughs> you know how... You know how that is. Also, also, hey, the rare time that, that I actually have like a mod in this channel, because I don't even remember who I've modded at this point in time, adding in the word cuckold. <laughs> Thank you. Now everybody can say cuckold to their heart's content. No questions asked. Okay. <sighs> have you played any of the Shenmue games? Oh. oh. Okay, uh, I have not played any of the Shenmue games. I have watched full playthroughs of all three of them, though. Gotta say, I do not like Shenmue. I'm sorry for any Shenmue fans out there, any Shenmue heads. I really don't like Shenmue. You know, you, know, you, you can probably, given uh, given my uh, opinions on games, you can probably infer why. I can go on an entire rant though if you want me to. I thought Shenmue 1 and 2 were the greatest games of all time. Now I realize how flawed they were. I mean, they certainly were interesting in the way that they were very different from a lot of other games that existed. They brought something new to the table, and it was it was new in a very novel way. I don't necessarily know if it's like... Yeah, if, it's sort of like FMV games, where certainly... It was something that was uh, uh, very interesting, very different. We got many very good games out of that genre. Didn't really have legs to stick around, though, you know? <laughs> no, there's there's the rare FMV game that sort of um, makes, makes waves rarely. Like, I remember Her Story a couple years back. But aside from that, um... Pretty, pretty. I, I was even talking about Thirteenth uh, uh, Guest earlier, and it's like that is that is FMV. Those old weird ones. Okay, that'll work. My leg now. Do the rant. I okay. I'll I'll give you a short rant. How, uh, how about that? What if I just did short rant? It's a magical kung fu game where the protagonist. Can cannot like he's the most boring person possible and spends most of his time not even doing boring stuff. He took three games. It took two games for. He took the, the, the entire second game was finding out that 
the stupid mirror is pointed to a treasure. And that's literally the entire thing. And also being told that, yeah, this is not what... Oh, yeah, no, no, okay, no. You know what? I said I was going to do the short rant. I got to clearly, like, think this thing out if I'm going to go on an actual rant. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, no, nah, it's, it's too scattershot. I have too many things that I want to bring up immediately. In some ways, I actually kind of like how it's, like, a boring game. Like, it's a very... It's a very, um... There's just like a lot of wandering around in 1980s Japan or China, and that's like interesting, but I'm going to be real with you. Ryo is the most boring character that isn't like literally a silent protagonist I've ever seen in a video game. That man is like a black hole of charisma, <laughs> which in some ways is kind of interesting, but I got to say that it's like there's got to there's gotta be something more than and then that's that's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get for like the Shenmue rant. Certainly, I can. I'm. I'm not. I. Uh, I kind of love how like weird and totally. Uh, it's. It is. It is a game that does its own thing, and I can appreciate that. But also, like, how how. How did you think that you needed 15 games to tell this magic kung fu story? <laughs> like, seriously. There's... D d what sort of... I, I feel like this is... Like, it was built as an epic. Specifically, like... Who... Oh! <laughs> it was built as, like, an epic story. Specifically because... It was going to be very long. Not because they had enough content to fill that length, but just because it was going to be 3,000 hours in total. But, like, there's also a lot of good stuff about it. I genuinely like the idea of just a game where you walk around in 1980s Japan saying hi to everybody. But at the same time, Shenmue does keep trying to push you towards the magic kung fu story. I don't know. It's... I'm not a huge fan of the series. Now, let's just go with that. That said, I would totally be interested in seeing a Shenmue 4 if that ever has a possibility. Shenmue 3, I gotta say, is kind of amazing in the way that it is, um... It is, like, legitimately as if they dug up a game from 2002 and just gave it some HD textures. They really committed to keeping that series as it was. It's... It's a weird thing. There's a weird dichotomy here where at, at once I want to shame the game and then at, at the, uh, on the other hand, I want to praise the game for being true to itself like the one drunken guy tells you constantly in the first game. I, I, it's kind of an amazing series. That said, I do not think it would make for a very good playthrough as I just kind of get annoyed at everything very quickly. Oh... Also, it gave us Doolin's, um, Ooh, which got sampled for, uh, Lisa the Painful soundtrack, which is pretty great. <sighs> the Yakuza Series 8 Shenmue's launch. I, I, I don't, I don't even disagree. I feel like a lot of the stuff I liked in Shenmue also does appear in the Yakuza series. And I also just think, like, come on, Kiryu, he's still kind of a boring protagonist character. It's just like everything from Shenmue <laughs> and then some. It's such a weird... I, I don't know. I, 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 uh. But at the same time, like I said, I don't respect the series. It's, it's a weird... Like I said, you know what? I said I was going to go on a rant. I don't actually have a rant prepared. I just have a bunch of thoughts. <laughs> Wait, that's where that's from? Yeah, Shenmue 2. The, um, specifically the English dub that only came out for the Xbox. Because I believe by the time that Shenmue 2 came out, the, they were using the Japanese dub for... Ah! They were using the Japanese dub for, for the Dreamcast version. But the Xbox version still got the, the normal dub. Yeah, Doolin even actually appeared in Shenmue 3. Or, well, his brother did. It, it was a... It was one of those weird, well, technically there's no reason why he would have moved away from Hong Kong. So his brother works here, eh? Eh? Eh. <laughs> Did you mention you work in a pharmacy now? Yes, I do. I do work in a specialty pharmacy. 
Uh, Kiryu is fun because he still does karaoke. <laughs> I was going to say croquet for some reason. Um, shit like that, because despite being the goddamn dragon of Dojima. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 still, he still radiates boring protagonist man character, though. Doc, you got a job? Yes, I've been working a job for a little while. Hey, thank you, Rosalind15, for the sub. I love you. Oh. I actually like how emotionally stilted he is. Yeah, but he's so emotionally stilted. It's He's supposed to be going on a grand adventure to get revenge for his father's death, which is one I, I also don't like revenge stories. He's a series not made for me, let's just say that right now. And he's so... Yeah. I gotta go get a new skill, I realize right now. Oh, what am I even doing here? I have no idea. Instinct, I guess. Even though I don't even have skills that would work with that. I got I I've been too I've been too busy thinking about Shenmu <laughs> that Oh man. Wow, thank you, Makila Gorilla, by the way, for these for the sub. Not even get to the sub. I love you. Again. Oh, what a what a meaningful character <laughs> to be taken to the first boss fight where I'm almost definitely going to die. Clearly <sighs> need necromancy. Necromancy is still one of the best skills. Uh, one of the best mutations in the entire game. Man. I got a lot of use out of that in, in many a run as of recent. Just gonna punch all of the blood out of this guy. Okay. Come on. Oh, roll. Okay, it actually didn't go for the... Okay, now I'm just gonna go away, because, yeah. You work in a weed shop now. No, think much more expensive. Ugh, okay. The stun there almost got me. I tried to... Okay. Right. Go for the sweep. Then I'm going to go here. Roll behind. Ugh. Wait until he gets rid of that. Okay, go for the... Wait until he I, gets a sweep. Roll through. Get behind. Sweep. Roll. Damn it. So close. What if you're angry at Shenmue? <laughs> it's like I kind of I I have respect for the series even as much as I don't like it. No. Oh. oh. Man. Well, you know that is over an hour of of attempts at this. Maybe maybe I'll make it a regular thing. I don't know. I don't know if people are interested in seeing more cursed sword runs or if they're all just going to be kind of the same thing, but it's still it's it's still kind of fun to see how how far I can get with that on a regular basis, even while I'm still trying to do the whole thing where I'm talking at the same time. 